Hey, look, people. I, I want you guys to understand something. The First Amendment, freedom of speech, protects us and us vocalizing or just making known publicly our ideas, our thoughts. It protects us from being censored. It protects us from having these ideas uh, impeded by the government. The government can't stop you from speaking out to express your feelings. It has nothing to do with you just saying whatever the hell you want from day to day, week to week, and nothing's gonna happen to you. That's not that's not what that's not what it is. That's not what the fucking First Amendment is. You jackasses who don't understand that. If that's what the First Amendment was, then libel laws wouldn't exist. But if you don't understand the concept of the First Amendment, why the fuck would you understand about libel laws too, right? They always say this, oh, well, you, everyone knows that you can't yell fire in a, in a crowded movie theater. But blah, 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 that's the line that, you, that you're skimming on when it's freedom of speech. It's like, no, no, the fuck it's not. Yes, you can't yell fire in the movie theater because it might incite fucking panic when there's not a real fire and people will get freaking hurt. And then you could be held, held liable for that. Now, being held liable and liable is two different things. All right, they're red geniuses you guys go out and read a fucking civics book you can't stand on the corner and say hey i hate this fucking guy because he's a fucking jerk off and if that guy comes up to you and punches you in the face that has nothing to do with him violating your freedom of speech the government can't stop us from speaking it's to protect us from the government that's it that's it you jackasses and then it's Applied to freedom of press, freedom of religion, a freedom of right to assemble, all of these things, they're to protect us from the government. Man. It's like I'm going to have a heart attack. And I can only say that I hope that doesn't happen because I've been waiting. I've been waiting to sign up for some health care. And I know, I know the president said he was going to have an awesome health care plan ready to roll out he uh he said it was going to be ready in like uh, two weeks uh he said that four years ago he said it was going to be ready in like two weeks he said that a whole bunch of times and so i just like held off on uh i held off on signing up for anything so i was waiting for that plan to roll out so you think you think you'll have it out by uh by what by tuesday you think you'll have it out there? i will ask congress to convene a special session so we can repeal and replace and it will be such an honor for me, for you, and for everybody in this country. As soon as our secretary is approved and gets into the office, we'll be filing a plan. We have a really terrific, I believe, health care plan coming out. We're going to have a health care plan that's going to be second to none. It's going to be great. I never said repeal it and replace it within 64 days. I have a long time. It's been very much misreported that we failed with health care. We haven't failed. We're negotiating, and we continue to negotiate. We have two plans coming out. Coming out in a very short period of time. We're going to come up with a health care plan. We're not going to vote on it until after the election. The plan is coming out over the next four weeks. We're going to produce phenomenal health care, and we already have the concept of the plan. We'll be announcing that in about two months. Maybe less. We have a great plan coming out. It's going to be if we can take back the House. We're signing a health care plan within two weeks, a full and complete health care plan. We're going to be doing a very inclusive health care plan. I'll be signing it sometime very soon. It's two weeks when you it might be uh, it might be Sunday, but it's uh, it's going to be very soon. We're going to be introducing a tremendous health care plan sometime prior, hopefully prior to the end of the month. It's just about completed now. For four years, fucking Donald Trump kept talking about it's going to be the greatest health care plan ever. It's going to it's gonna be so much better than Obamacare and da, 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 da. And where the fuck are we at now? Where are you at with your health care plan? Where are you at with your health care plan, you suck job? Huh? See, all the shit that I'm saying, all the shit that I'm saying about the government, it's all protected by the First Amendment. Because the government can't stop me from saying a goddamn thing about them.
You understand? Do you understand that? You a bunch of fucking idiots. For eight friggin' years, I had to sit back and listen to a bunch of quacks and a-holes, gun nuts, talk about how Obama was going to take everybody's guns. Every freaking day for eight years, they kept talking about how Obama was going to take your guns. And I've spoken on this before about uh, false flag operations and Sandy Hook and Vegas. That you fucking nuts want to say they're false flag operations to beef up the gun control laws so they could take all your guns so then the government could move on you. I've asked it before. What's it going to take? for the government to actually take your guns because those incidents that I'm, I just mentioned, nothing's happened to take your guns away from you. So when I see the friggin' broad from where? Where is she, Utah? She's just the freshman um, representative? Yeah, I said broad. Put a dollar into that misogyny drawer. When she's like, oh, it's a bunch of bull crap. They're gonna take our guns. It's like, you still wanna go with this girl. They're gonna take our guns bullshit. So Barack Obama's president for eight years, Fucking stupid ass Donald Trump's been, I don't even want to call him the president for four years, since 12 years. Nobody's touched your fucking guns. But I know what it is. It's the resilience. It's the resilience of, of, uh, you, you gun owners, right? You proud, uh, NRA, uh, members. The NRA's gotta file bankruptcy now, right? That's what stopped Obama from doing it for eight years, is your resiliency. I remember the one summer whenever they said, hey, Hey, um, the government's buying up all the bullets, so there'll be a shortage on bullets. You guys better go out and buy your bullets, you fucking suckers. What a bunch of clowns. They're gonna take our guns. Again with this bullshit. <sighs> I think that was all. <clears throat> Fucks. <laughs>